My name is James Stevens, and I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and uh, I've been doing hair for four years or so, if you count uh, some school and, uh, and some apprenticing. I enjoy working to live and not living to work, and it just happened to be the, it came at me at the perfect time in my life, and I uh, absolutely adore it. I did the full, you know, four years at university, got a degree, um, but everything that that degree led me to, uh, it cut off at the ability to be creative every day. So I was doing things that satisfied one part of my personality, but it never got to that creative aspect. Put this way over here, Margaret. Um, it's going to be a little bit of color work. We're going to do, uh, because you're so light now already, we want whatever we put over it not to be. I feel like finally when I, uh, I actually left one career uh, and went to manage a friend's hair salon um, in Halifax as well, and uh, I realized that it really, I could relate with people and have relationships with people that uh, that moved across time. You know, you can, you can build and get to know people very, very well. Um, but the underlying thing was that every single day I could go in and something creative could happen. You could really change someone's someone's life around or their opinion of themselves or how they view themselves. And those are really, really powerful things. Too often, we as stylists give too much control to the person that's in our chair when they're not the trained professional. My my be all and my end all is that I am the one that's in charge and you're coming to me and paying good money because of my vision and my skill. Otherwise, I'd be returning the favor and doing that for you. So um, that's really what I try and, and maintain. And, um, and through that first, uh, that first initial consultation, try and establish is simply that that's going to be our role. If that's not OK, then maybe it's best that you know the person seeks out something else. or uh, Because that's really how I have to work. I say it all the time. At, the best work will always come when uh, a client or a prospective client walks in and basically allows the stylist to do what they envision. Oh, Margaret, this is going to be great. Definitely when that relationship builds. When, um, when I hear, when I have someone that I've never met before come in and say that, you know, so-and-so who I, you know, either had just recently done for the first time or someone that maybe had been a regular client uh, they'd bumped into in the street, didn't know the person but liked my work on their head and thought enough of it to ask, you know, where the heck did you get that done and where can I, where can I find this person and then I get that person to come to me. It's, it's fantastic. It's like a, you sort of start something out there in the world and your work stands on its own and becomes its own entity. Um, and it still, it generates more of that, more of that stuff that thrives, or makes me thrive, just that, you know, that interpersonal stuff. <laughs> We're excited. Good start. I enjoy working, but I enjoy life far more. Uh, so it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I tend to, um, I'm never gonna work a 12 hour day. It's not, it's not my thing. Um, and then there are days when you're talking about the creativity aspect of it. Uh, there are certainly days that sometimes I just don't feel like I, you know, where am I gonna get it from? Some days you feel a lot more just naturally, I think, disposed to, uh, to create. Other days you, you have to, to drum it up from inside a little bit more. So when it's dry and all moving away from itself, you'll see the light coming through the dark. Nice. See what I mean? Yeah. Sort of get a little hint That'll of that. That'll be perfect for the yeah. I understand how it is to feel less than great. Uh, you know, that you could stand a little pick-me-up. But I also I have a really clear uh, vision as well of what that what it means to offer that to someone, and not only offer them the words and the advice, but to really arm them 
with something and in, in my in my ability it's you know a new haircut and a different hair color to be able to set them back out on the street and not only tell them that they are beautiful and you know unique and different but really allow my allow them to to walk around in that you know in this in either a new haircut or a new hair color whatever it is and it's funny because when you break it down and you say it's a new haircut or a new hair color it doesn't sound like much but the power that that can have in someone's life because it's it's the first thing that someone sees and, and part and parcel with that you know to be able to offer someone the confidence that looking beautiful can offer them and making the most of what they have, whether it's the most beautiful, whether they're more beautiful than the six girls this way on the bus or the six girls that way, it doesn't matter at all. It's how they feel, and that's huge power, and I take incredible delight in that.